what's up guys this is Ram from RGH Tech TV and today I have here with me the Asus Zenfone 4 so let's see some tips and tricks related to this uh, Asus Zenfone 4 this phone actually runs a custom skin from Asus known as uh, Asus Zen UI so it's pretty fluid uh, and uh, I thought like let me make a tips and tricks video on that so firstly let's see how to add widgets to the lock screen and to do that swipe from left to right and uh, you can add the widgets so let's go to analog clock and uh, you can also add multiple widgets and if you don't want them you can also remove them so press and hold and remove that's it so that was easy and uh, now I'll tell you like uh, different ways to launch the camera application so the one way is uh, double tap any of the volume buttons uh, to launch the camera application I'll show you like how to do that There you go so the camera has been launched and uh, you can tap any of the volume buttons to capture the picture or else you can use uh, the on-screen button and the other way is like uh, you can uh, launch the camera application by swiping from right to left so there you go you have the camera application and you can take the picture so uh, that's really handy not only you can add the widgets uh, to the lock screen or uh, launch the camera from lock screen but you also can launch different applications of your choice from the lock screen for example I tend to use a lot of calculator application so I can directly launch calculator from the lock screen and how to do that press and hold on the calculator icon and drag it and there you go you are in the calculator application so there are ways to customize this you so you can add the applications of your choice so I'll show you like how to do that so let's go to settings lock screen and in quick access firstly you have to enable that and uh, let me change this calculator to something like messaging so which was by default and uh, so now you can uh, directly launch messaging application from the lock screen so how to do that press and hold and drag it and you're in your messaging application so now uh, let's start some tips with messaging application I really love uh, the keyboard here for the fact that you have the number row on top so that makes typing pretty easier and uh, one more thing is like uh, you also get the swipe to type functionality but uh, you have to go to settings and enable that uh, and I'll show you like how to do that so let's go to home and it's always ha a handy thing to keep a shortcuts of uh, settings on your home screen so that you can quickly access to the settings so let's go to uh, language and input and Asus keyboard and uh, currently you are on uh, the fling input and uh, we can enable the thing called as uh, what Asus likes to call it it's called the trace input right so if you enable this this will be disabled the fling input will be disabled and we can access the swipe keyboard so let me show you like let's go to messaging application and now there you go you can type using swipe keyboard and you have the number on the top so that makes typing pretty easier right so next off let's see some of the different settings and tips and tricks available with the dial pad so let's go to the dial pad and uh, so you can change uh, the way it looks like we can have a larger dial pad so it's called full screen dial pad and you can easily access the numbers and if you don't want you can switch back by uh, going to smart search dial pad so you have uh, various options here like uh, you can uh, block list numbers and uh, you can uh, hide the number for next call so that uh, uh, your call will be like your number will be a private number and uh, you can uh, do call recordings and uh, if you uh, uh, want every call to be recorded you can go to uh, settings and uh, enable auto call recording 
there you go you can enable auto call recording here and uh, every call will be recorded on your phone so uh, that's a handy feature I would say and uh, you can customize a lot of things here like and uh, so you can edit the tabs you you can uh, change the placement of these tabs right and uh, if you don't want this you can uncheck this and that will be disabled okay so so this UI is uh, pretty much uh, customizable I would say and uh, now let's go to uh, battery saver options so let's go to settings and uh, if you go to power management you do have a thing called as power saver so wherein you can optimize uh, the way the battery is being used so the thing is uh, I like to keep it on optimized mode so you can go with ultra saving mode but the thing is when the device is suspended it will disconnect the network connection but in optimized mode you will have the network connection uh, you you cannot uh, I mean to say the system cannot uh, disconnect the network connection and uh, another thing is like you can go with customized mode so wherein you can set uh, the brightness each of the tasks can handle for example if you're reading emails so you can set it to a different brightness level right so and uh, similar way with uh, reading books watching videos so you can select the brightness according to the task you do so that's a pretty handy feature I would say but uh, I would like to keep it in optimized mode right so uh, now let's go back and uh, let me show you like uh, let me change the wallpaper and uh, it's very simple to do that just press and hold and uh, there we have the wallpapers icon so let's click and it instantly asks you like you want to set a wallpaper for home screen or lock screen or for home and lock screen so uh, that's a pretty handy feature I would say so let's go to home screen and let's try changing the wallpaper you can not only change the wallpaper but you can also adjust the transparency and the tint so uh, that is pretty good feature I would say so let's select this wallpaper and uh, you can add different tints to this like uh, if you want to give a yellowish uh, shade to that you can do that or uh, let's uh, try and give this standard blue shade so that's good and you can uh, actually add the transparency so that's fine right so now let's if you don't know like uh, swiping from uh, top left you get the notification tray and uh, swiping from right top you get uh, the quick settings menu and here you can also set the brightness uh, one con I would say is you don't have ambient light sensor hence you don't get the auto brightness and uh, here are uh, some of the applications uh, like uh, this optimizes your RAM usage so once you press this it will do some optimizing options and give you more RAM so that's a good option I would say and uh, this top row I got after doing an update uh, and uh, I would thank Asus for that uh, as the update was instantly available uh, within a day of my purchase of this phone so that was a good thing and uh, you can also customize uh, all these uh, quick settings and I'll quickly show you how to do that so let's go to settings and uh, you have something called as Asus customized settings so from here if you go to quick settings options you can rearrange uh, the way the quick settings looks and you can enable them or uh, disable them right so now if you go to uh, quick settings you can see that uh, the aeroplane mode uh, wait I think so okay you had to save that sorry and uh, yeah now you go and you don't have the aeroplane mode so that's a pretty handy feature I would say and uh, next off uh, so if this uh, wallpaper looks good let's take a screenshot of this and I'll show you like uh, different ways to take uh, the screenshots so firstly it's the simple thing just uh, you have to press the power button and the volume down key at the same time and to do that press them there you go 
and you can access this uh, screenshot by going to notification tray and uh, tapping on that and choosing the application you want to go with the gallery application so that's fine all right and uh, the next thing is uh, the other way to take the screenshots and to do that let's go to choose customize settings and uh, you can use this recent apps key or the multitasking uh, button uh, to take the screenshot right so let's choose this tap and hold to capture the screenshot and now you can uh, take a screenshot of this there you go right so now again let's go to settings and uh, I want to show you one more feature like so it's customized settings and the app installation settings is uh, one wherein you can choose uh, to install the apps on the internal storage or on the external storage or you can leave it to the system to decide to store it internally or externally so that's a pretty handy feature I would say and uh, finally I guess that uh, one more thing like uh, you can uh, go to accessibility and uh, you actually can use the power button to end the calls so that's a good feature I would say and uh, you can use the magnification gestures like I'll show you like what it does now if you tap three times on the home screen it will be like zoomed in I'll show you like there you go and uh, you can use two fingers to pan uh, the whole page and you can use single finger to uh, uh, move from uh, pages between pages so that's a pretty handy feature I would say and to get back to normal mode just press three times there you go right so that's it guys uh, make sure to check out my other Asus Zenfone 4 videos and uh, if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this subscribe to my channel and most importantly thanks for watching